Hello friends, today we are going to study about sum of arithmetic progression. In my previous video, I told you about what is arithmetic progression, how to find out the nth term, means look here, 4, 8, 12, 16 and dot 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 so on. So this is an arithmetic progression, I told you that it is having same progress every time, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 4, 16 and so on. So, this way you can find the uh, 20th or 30th or nth term, any term through a formula that we had learned a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. At that time we were finding the number. I Means suppose the 20th term if we want to find 20th term. Then we can find that with that a n is equal to something. He, at that time we were finding the term. Now we want to find the sum of arithmetic. Means from this, if they tell us to find the sum 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 up to the 20th term. Then also we can find out with formula. Actually there are two formulas. So one I am going to explain it here. n by 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And second is Sn is equal to n by 2 into bracket a plus l. After explaining this, I am going to solve these two sums though, so that you come to know and I am going to solve this by both these methods. So, now what to do here? If we want to find the sum up to the 28th term, first we have to make a list. The first number that is called a, a is 4 and the difference that is called D, difference is 8 minus 4 or 12, 4 is there. Then the number, we have to find the sum up to the 20th term. So N will be 20. Now we are having N, we are having D, we are having A. Can we find the sum of the 20th number? Yes, that is called S20. Because we have to find the sum up to the 20th. N is 20 by 2. 2 multiply with 4, a is 4, then plus n minus 1 into difference is 4. So, sorry, n also we can take, this is 20. So, we can cancel it, this will become 10. 10 into bracket, 2 4 are 8, plus 20 minus 1, 19 into 4. So, 10, first we have to solve this bracket, then we have to multiply with 10. 8 plus 9 for 36, 3 carries 36. 10 multiply with this 2, or oh sorry, addition of this 8, 9, 10, 14, carry 1, 84. So then 8, 40. So sum up to the 20th term is 8, 40. Okay. Actually, when we are understanding this, it's so simple, but when we are implementing this in the sums, it's a little bit difficult. So I am going to solve these two sums also the, so that you come to know what we have to do. Again, I am sometimes here in this sum, they had given a p 2, 7, 12, dot, dot, dot. And we have to find the sum up to the 10th term. So, same way, first we will make a list a. A, what is a here? 2, different 7 minus 2, 5. But we have to check 12 minus 7 is also 5, so it's okay. Then end. 10. We can find out we are having a so one formula Sn is equal to n by 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So 10 by 2 into bracket 2 multiply with 2 plus here n is 10 minus 1 into d is 5. So directly we can solve this will become 5 2 2 is a 4 plus 10 minus 1 9 into 5. 5, 4 plus 9, 5 is a 45. So it will become 5 into 49. You can multiply this. Finance the 45, 4 carry 22, 45. Look at here we had done with big math. We are having this small formula also. So in my next sum we are going to solve that. But it is a little bit difficult because we have to find some other values from this also. Look here. Find the sum of an AP. And the numbers are 3, 6, 9, dot, dot, up to 45. 
so they had not told us which term is this we are having a first term is a that is 3 we are having b also difference is also 3 6 minus 3 3 9 minus 6 also 3 so difference is but we don't have n so we cannot find without n our formula is sn is equal to n by 2 into bracket a plus l a means the first term that we and l l means the last term if we are having last term at that time only we can use this formula otherwise we have to use this formula so here we are having the last term but we don't know which term is this so first we have to find n and we cannot find n here so we have to use the previous method that we had learned in previous video that a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d in my previous video if you had not that video please watch that video with the help of this we can, if term is given we can find n or if n is given we can find the term so here the term is 45 a is 3 plus n we want to find minus 1 and the difference is 3 now 45 3 multiply 3 with this number 3n minus 3 I want to cancel this that's why only I had not taken it here otherwise student will ask me sir why you had not taken 3 now 45 is equal to 3n so we can find the n 45 by 3 is equal to n so n will be 15 now you got n is equal to 15 now we have to put it here sum 15 by 2 into bracket first term is 3 last term is 45 so 15 by 2 into 48 sum of cancellation it will be 24 now 24 into 15 15 for the 60 0 30 plus 6 3 60 so the sum of this number will be so this way we can so find the sum of any ap thank you so much for watching my video if you, if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much